Hello friends, welcome to this video. Today I am going to teach an interesting topic, namely types of research. It is highly useful for postgraduate students, young field scholars and the candidates appearing for competitive examinations. Let me explain one by one. What is pure research? It is also called basic research or fundamental research. This research is undertaken only for gaining knowledge and not for solving any problem. That is why it is called a research for knowledge sake only. A research for gaining knowledge only. So, pure research or basic research will not provide or will not offer any solution to problems or answers to questions. So, it is simply undertaken for the purpose of gaining a knowledge or additional knowledge. That is why it is called research for gaining knowledge only. This is known as pure research or basic research or fundamental research. Next question, what is applied research? It is just the opposite of the pure research. Pure research is only for gaining knowledge and not for solving any problem. But applied research is also called action research. This research is undertaken for solving a specific problem. So it has got a public utility or practical utility to society, individual and business units. That is why applied research is called problem oriented research and also called action oriented research. So two peculiar features of applied research problem oriented and action oriented. We it is called a problem oriented because applied research tries to solve real life problems or problems facing the society. We can solve that problem. So it has practical utility to society. So this is called applied research and it is also known as action research. So it provides solution to specific problem, answers to specific questions. So this is called applied research or action research. Next question, what is historical research? Historical research is undertaken on the basis of the data or information collected from old records, old documents and by studying past events in the books and journal. So simply speaking, historical research is a taking into account the old facts, past facts, old records, old information or past events, past facts. So historical research is simply based on historical facts, historical data. This is one meaning for the term historical research. There is also another meaning. Historical research is undertaken on the basis of the information or data of the past trend, past trend, past event, past facts and the attitude. So everything is based on the old or past. So this is called historical research. Next question. What is analytical research? Analytical research has got two features. One is critical analysis of the existing data. This is the most important feature of analytical research. Critical analysis of the available or existing information or data. This is one peculiar feature. And another important feature of analytical data is critical evaluation of the data. So two important 
characteristics of analytic data one is critical analysis of data and another one is critical evaluation of data so these are two important characteristics possessed by analytical research this research is suitable for the disciplines like commerce management economics political science and the sociology for these disciplines we can apply analytical research because analytical research involves three steps the first step is testing hypothesis hypothesis means assumption a tentative proposition that should be tested statistically so with the help of analytical research the first important step is we can test the hypothesis called testing hypothesis this is the first step involved in analytical research the second step is analyzing the data so after hypothesis tester test, test, the data is analyzed and the third important step is interpreting the relationship of the subject so three steps are involved testing hypothesis analyzing data and interpreting the relationship these three steps are involved in analytical research so this is called analytical research and it is useful for commerce management science economics and social sciences next question what is empirical research empirical research it takes into account empirical evidence this empirical evidence is also called verifiable evidence what is empirical evidence it is a conclusion arrived from the empirical data or empirical evidence which can be verified through scientific experiment so empirical research is purely based on empirical evidence this empirical evidence is gathered by adopting two methods one is called qualitative research method and another one is called quantitative research method by adopting these two methods a researcher can obtain empirical evidence so on that basis empirical research is undertaken and this empirical research can be verified through scientific experiment so empirical research or empirical evidence is also called verifiable evidence next question what is descriptive research descriptive research involves describing the characteristics of a population or a situation or a phenomena it may be an individual or group or an organization so descriptive research takes or is undertaken by adopting two methods one is survey and one is observation technique so these two methods are adopted for undertaking descriptive research namely survey or observation technique this descriptive research tries to answer only one question that is what are the problem or what is the problem other questions how when and why for these questions there is no answer in the descriptive research so descriptive research is not useful for providing answers to how the problem arises when it arises how it arises for these questions descriptive research will not offer any answers so it will give answer to only one question namely what is the problem what of the problem that we can understand by conducting descriptive research next question exploratory research what is exploratory research it is also called initial research or preliminary research what is called initial research a research for problem for which there is no previous research a problem which is not researched before 
a problem for which there is no past data. So it is totally a new or initial or preliminary. So any problem which is not already studied, any problem for which there is no previous research, any problem for which there is no previous data, this is called exploratory research. So it is called initial. It is called preliminary research because there is no previous data or past data. That is why it is called initial research. This exploratory research has three functions. The first function classifying the concepts. The researcher has to classify the concept first. And then priority. Priority for further research. That's the most important function. Exploratory research will pave the way for doing further research. So priority for further research. Second important function. And the third function is priority-wise arrangement of research problem. Research problem can be arranged on the priority-wise. First preference, second preference and so on. So these are the three functions of exploratory research. Classifying the concept, priority for conducting further research and priority-wise arrangement of research problem. This exploratory research has got certain characteristics or it has certain advantages. The first one, it is highly flexible. Second one, it is versatile. Third one, it involves low cost. So the cost is very low for conducting exploratory research. And the next one, this research serves as a basis serves as a fundamental foundation for conducting further research. So these are the important characteristics or advantages of exploratory research. Then this is called types of research. See you in the next video with other interesting questions and answers on research. Till then, goodbye.